Game of the Week is brought to you by HR Clough, the home energy specialist and Kearsarge Heating Oils. Kasasa, free checking that pays. Now available at Claremont Savings Bank. And LaValle Building Supplies, for home improvement and construction, from concept to completion. The Cavaliers of Hollis Brookline High School will be kicking off to the Red Hawks, Hillsborough Deering Hopkinton. On a cool, damp day, Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide here as kickoff is downed by the Red Hawks player right around the 20 yard line, jumps right on it. And uh, Andrew, a couple teams that uh, not too familiar with in our local region, but uh, getting down here and we're gonna see some, some football of some uh, South Division. Yeah, I'm interested to see these teams. I, and just as you said, I'm not very familiar with them, but uh, should be a good game. Uh, I believe Hollis Brookline is three and one. Hillsborough doing Hopkinton two and two. And of course, this Hopkinton team is a brand new varsity team. Be interesting to see how they do today. So the Red Hawks will take over first. Be first and ten. Number three, Caleb Yanokopoulos, under center. Quick handoff up the middle. Dives forward for a short gain. The ball carrier for the Red Hawks is number 18, Saj Dubois. For the Red Hawks, the play of five yards. gaining five yards on first down play. It'll be second the tackle and was made by five. 82, Matt Simcoe. Another handoff goes to the running back, who was immediately met in the backfield. And that'll be pushed back for a short loss. And as we mentioned in the pregame, a damp day here, wet, rainy day. I'm sure we're going to see a lot of ground game for both teams. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Not a lot of passing. The ball's going to be slippery. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of rushing tonight or this afternoon. Shotgun snap, Yanakopoulos grabs it and he makes a nice throw to the receiver, Henry Yanakopoulos. The pass from number three, Nice job there by the quarterback seven, just to get Henry a throw off, was complete. not get sacked. That'll bring up fourth down and now and it is fourth six. down, unfortunately. Right, the bad, uh, not a great snap, shotgun snap just almost over his head, but quarterback able to corral it and then making the nice throw just to avoid the sack. But fourth down, punt formation here for the Red Hawks. Back deep to receive here at about the 45 yard line is a Hollis Brookline return man. Number 30, Derek Davidson. And he'll let that ball come to a rest at the 40 yard line where Hollis Brookline will take over when we come back. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide, Hollis Brookline Cavaliers taking over here on their own 40. Quick handoff off the shotgun snap. Goes to running back number 38, Jack Byrne. The YCN Game of the Week and Saturday YCN Live College Game Day is brought to you by HR Clough, the home energy specialist, and LaValle Building Supply. Thank them for making this coverage possible. So pick up a, about four yards, second and six. Drops back to pass, a great pass and connected. And a nice catch and throw. Joey Delaney on the pass, complete to Brian Delaney. And that'll be incomplete. It was broken up. Looked like a nice play, just broken up. So that'll bring up third down and about six for the Cavaliers. Delaney drops back to pass, evades one rusher, rolls out to his right, doesn't have a lot of room, fires it incomplete on third down. That'll bring up fourth down for the Cavaliers. That'll make it fourth down and six. The ball's at the 44-yard line of the Cavaliers. So a slow start for each team on their opening possession. Red Hawks punt on their first possession. And now it looks like 
the Cavaliers will do the same, gaining four yards on the first rush, but then nothing else after that. Three incomplete passes. And whistle before the kick. They're going to say that he fumbled a snap, so the guess snap. Hillsboro Deering Hopkinton will the take over when he touched oh. down. So we'll step aside, take a quick break. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide, where the Red Hawks of Hillsboro Deering Hopkinton have taken over after a muffed snap on the punt. Yeah, kind of a weird play there. Big turnover on downs. But Hopkinton able to take over with great field position. And that was Prince Mansa with the run there, picking up a couple yards. Now it's second down and eight. Red Hawks keeping it on the ground. They have thrown one pass. It was completed, but it was for no gain. So we'll see what they do here. The snap doesn't quite get off the ground, but a nice job by Jan Kopoulos, who fields the errant snap, and he'll run it out, gain a few yards, just averting any danger there. Yeah, good job by Jan Kopoulos, avoiding the sack, picking up a few yards at least. And now it looks about third and seven. So third and seven here for the Red Hawks, as we mentioned, first year program, Hillsboro, Deering, and Hopkinton co-op program. First year as a varsity program. So third and long, direct snap. Got a man open, passes it, oh. and it is intercepted by the Hollis Brookline defender. Looks like that is number 82 on the interception. Yeah, and that's Matt Simcoe there, the junior, pulling in that interception. Huge turnover. As we said, the Red Hawks had great field position. But the Cavaliers able to get the ball back. Let's see what they can do here on this drive. And we didn't expect to see a lot of throwing with this weather that we're having. It's terrible. The rain actually looks like it's picking up now. Right. So you'd think they'd want to keep it on the ground just for that purpose to avoid turnovers. Mm -hmm. But another throw, this one by oh. Brookline, and that one's picked off. That's going the other way for the Red Hawks. And the Red Hawk defender, Henry Yanakopoulos. Yeah, and just as you said, Jeremy, you think you want to keep the ball on the ground. I mean, two passes right there in a row, and then back-to-back -back interceptions. I think both teams are going to really start to just run the ball. It's going to be hard to make accurate throws in this weather. Yeah, you, you see the quarterbacks dropping back. They can't get a grip on it. They're just tossing the ball up there. Really, they can't aim it too well, and they don't have a lot of, a lot of strength to get behind it because they can't grip it. So we'll see if the Red Hawks learned anything from their last offensive possession. After turning it over, they are fortunate enough, their defense holds and gets it back to them. They will go back to the air, fade pattern into the end zone, and that ball is broken up incomplete. Hey local sports fans, the new YCN Sports Talk co-hosted by our very own Jeremy Stout and Dave Collins is every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. And 94.5 ESPN Radio's Franklin and House Sports Talk Show is on YCN every weekday evening at 6 p.m. YCN, your local view. So after an incomplete pass to start off the drive, that'll bring up second and 10 for the Red Hawks. Trying to get something going here. Ball just inside the 25-yard line. Direct snap. Back to Yanakopoulos. And he throws it up there. Completed this time. And a flag comes in late on the play. Penalty flag on the field. A pass from number three, Caleb Yanakopoulos, to number seven, Henry Yanakopoulos. Is so the Yanakopoulos connection there. Caleb to Henry. Complete, and then number after the was taken down after the play, there was a flag. So I don't know if that's going to be an unsportsmanlike conduct. Face mask on the defense. That'll be a half the distance to the goal line, it looks like. Inadvertent face mask. And it will be first and goal from about the five. Red Hawks from the, the Cavaliers nine yard line. Excuse me, from the nine yard line, the vantage point that we have. Couldn't quite get the get the yardage. 
It'll be first and goal from the nine. Yonakopoulos pitches off to the left. Runs into some traffic. Paul and that was uh, Prince Mansaw there. The senior, number 22, picked up a few yards. So here's where the Redhawks really need to punch it in, and they have gotten a couple gifts so far. One on the one on the punt that was the snap was muffed and downed, and then they got the interception after throwing one of their own. So now here's a chance where they are looking to punch it in and go up early on this homecoming afternoon. Ooh. Quick inside handoff goes nowhere, really. Maybe a couple yards. And that was Sage Dubois there. It was completely met, was met by three Cavalier defenders, not going anywhere. Good job there by the Cavalier defense. And if they can stop them here on third down, that would be a big stop. And it'll be interesting if they do have to uh, go for it on fourth down, Coach Jay Wood. Be interesting to see if they try and go for it on fourth down. Is this four down territory? So. Yanakopoulos under center now. Hand off up the middle. And stopped again inside. Two yard line maybe. Great job by the Cavalier defense, holding strong. And let's see if the Red Hawks go for it. So fourth and goal. Ball at the three yard line. Yeah, I'm not quite sure if they have a capable kicker who can kick field goals. Doesn't look like it. Looks and even, like they're going to go for it. And even at this point, if you turn it over on downs, you got them backed up all the way to their own two or three. So right. see what happens there. The snap, the throw by Yanakopoulos. And that is going to be held at the goal line and turnover on downs. Wow, great job by the Hollis Brookline defense. Looking very strong with the goal line defense. Great stop. Well, we'll take a quick break. We'll step aside. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide here for Hopkinton Hillsborough Deering versus Hollis Brookline. Stay tuned at the end of our telecast for the HR Clough Kearsarge Heating Oil turning up the heat player of the game when we'll pick the top performer in tonight's matchup. 3.26 to go here in the first quarter. Hollis, Brookline, Hillsborough, Deering, Hopkinton. Say that three times fast. <laughs> Hollis, Brookline has the ball on their own two or three yard line. Oh, pass there is tipped up in the air and it falls away incomplete. So a break there for the, the Cavaliers. Yeah, both teams still trying to throw the ball despite a few early interceptions. I okay. really don't think they'll be very <laughs> successful. They're just gonna defy the, the weather because right. this you're not gonna throw the ball in this type of weather and you're not gonna get good traction. In traction. So they're trying to get out of their own end zone. And they don't have too much luck as they go backwards again, and that'll bring up Ball third down. Cavaliers is number 38, Jack Byrne. No gain on the play. So third and 10 for Hollis Brookline here. Shadow of their own end zone. Play. And continue to get no gain. So that'll bring up fourth Gentlemen, down. Clock continues to run inside three minutes. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide here. Division two South matchup. YCN game of the week. Hollis Brookline, got to imagine they're going to punt here and hopefully for them it goes a little better than their last venture. The punt is away and fielded at the 25 yard line, breaks a couple tackles and the return man will be tackled after a nice gain, a nice return. So the Red Hawks will take over possession when we come back, you're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week, Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide. Red Hawks taking over after the punt. 
try and break something. They will keep it on the ground this time. And a nice gain. And that was uh, Prince Mansaw with the rush there. Gained five yards. Nice run. He's hobbling a little bit coming off the field. It'll be second down and five. So second down and five inside two minutes. As you mentioned, Mansaw coming off. Of the Cavaliers. For the Red Hawks. Trying to go above 500 for first time this season. They are two and two. Hollis Brookline three and one looking to assert themselves in the Southern Division of Division Two. Yonakopoulos under center. He'll take the snap. Pitches back. And the running back is slips down and immediately tackled in the backfield for a short loss. Our replays were brought to you by Kasasa, a catchy word for earning cash. Ask for free Kasasa checking at Claremont Savings Bank. Qualifications and rules apply. See them for details. Member FDIC. So the Red Hawks look like maybe they are turning over to the run game where they've run the last two plays, five yard gain on the first one and then slipping and falling. And that's the other problem in the, in the weather. It's, it's not perfect just because you're running the ball, but it just eliminates one chance of a mistake. Yanakopoulos rolling out to his left, throws across his body, and it looks like the pass is completed. He's almost got the first down. It's gonna be close. Ooh. And they're gonna say he comes up short. Is that what the spot is? They're gonna bring the chains out. So they'll bring the chains out here to measure on fourth and short. And once again, if they do not get the first down, it will be fourth down and they will probably go for it here, I would imagine. Short, just a couple inches. inches, wow. Fourth and inches. So fourth and inches now for the Red Hawks as they continue to drive. They've had the ball a number of times and they've basically been inside the red zone for most of the snaps. Yeah, I can. I mean, if, if they're not able to score here, I can really see the ball staying on this side of the field for most of the first half, just going back and forth. Defense has played strong when they've needed to. Got a nice punt return to set up this possession. No score yet, 37.8 seconds to go in the first quarter. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide here for the YCN game of the week between the Hillsboro Deering Hopkinton co-op team Red Hawks versus the Hollis Brookline Cavaliers. And Yanakopoulos takes a snap, he falls forward, sneaks it, and that should be enough for a first down. So Yanakopoulos keeps it, and it's a first down. Good job by the Red Hawks offense there. You just needed a few inches. They were able to get it easily. And now you got four plays here to punch it in. Let's see if Hollis Brookline defense can step up once again. And here's where, if you're the Red Hawks, you really need a score as the quarter comes to a close. They don't know if they'll get a playoff. About 10 seconds to go. They run to the line, trying to get one final play here. Yanakopoulos under center, takes the snap. Signal from the ref. Saying second down, so they don't get in. That play will end the first quarter after one quarter here. No score, you're watching the YCN Game of the Week. <laughs> 